What it is, YouTube? It's your boy, Nixie, coming back with another Bulls I have a tutorial here today on the channel. I wanted to do a dope vocal preset for Tyler and break down them on piano vocals. So if y'all like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also down below, suggest more artists so we could do more tutorials too. So let's get to it right now. Let's go. It's now or never. I don't wanna do this later. My sign a song, I don't want the pressure. Just bring the chaser. One, two, three, short shots. I got a slow wine in time, the most, most. The time is now, let's have some fun. The time is now, you've been lost, but I found you. There's nothing to hide, I can prove. The time is now, you've been lost, but I found you. There's nothing to hide. All right, really, really dope um, Tyler type of vocal. So today, let's look at what it sound like uh, with and without the preset, uh, what we got working with. It's now and never. I don't want to do this later. I'm a sign of song. I don't want the pressure. Just bring the chaser. Mm. One, two, three short shots. I got a slow whiny time. The most, most. The time is now. Let's have some fun. The time is now, you've been lost but I found you There's nothing to hide I can prove The time is now, you've been lost but I found you There's nothing to hide I can all right, really dope vocal right here that we have today. I actually had this song custom made for me. So I already been liking Tyler's music since way back. I had these stems since like December. So I was waiting for the album to come out. And now that it did, so I could really hear a whole project. I wanted to break down how I feel about Tyler's vocal sound. So really dope. When I think about a, a Tyler vocal um, sound, I'm it started making me think a little bit about like the summer. It made me think about like light bugs and um fireflies if y'all know what that is it's like a type of bud that kind of got a glow to it you feel me it has a nice little glow so that's what her vocal reminds me of something that just has like a kind of like a warm glow kind of like at a fireplace or something like that so the very first plugin that i use today right is um you know the kramer tape specifically because it kind of gives a nice little bit of brightness to the vocal and i use this preset uh the the 15 ips deesser because it's kind of like smoothing out the vocal like a situation if you're going to get your hair you know twisted or something like that or you get you got dreads you know what they do is they wash your hair first you feel me so it kind of get moist you feel me that's how we process in the vocal to start out it's now or never I don't wanna do this later I'm a sign of song I don't want the pressure Just bring the chaser One, two, three short shots I got a slow whiny time The most, most The time is now Let's have some fun The time is now You've been lost but I found you There's nothing to hide I all right, so most importantly, using that Kramer tape, and it kind of, you know, the vocal kind of reminds me a little bit about a situation where we're just trying to, like, you know, uh, marinate the the chicken right now. We're just kind of getting it tender. We're taking the, the the hammer, and we hitting the chicken breast real quick. You feel me? Getting it ni nice and soft. So that's what the tape is doing. It's smoothing out the vocal and also adding a little bit of brightness. After that, I use a Shep 73 on the Tyler style vocal just because I know it has a transformer in it and that transformer is going to bring in a little bit of that body, you feel me, into the vocal, right? So that's like automatically me knowing what's under the hood of this plugin is going to bring a little bit of body to the vocal, a little bit of density to that low end because she kind of got a bright voice, right? That's kind of like very uh, Tinker Belly and like, you know, Disney Channel, bum, 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 type of with the wand. It's like very pixely and everything. I just want to bring in the 73 because it's going to give a little bit of meat to the vocal. And uh, yeah, that's the most important thing. Just using a little bit of the filter and pushing the preamp just a little bit. It's now or never. I don't want to do this later. I'm a sign of song. I don't want the pressure. Just bring the chaser. One, two, three short shots. I got a slow whiny time. The most, most. The time is now. Let's have some fun.
So it's kind of like what we're doing is we're putting like ankle weights on the vocal. We're, we're making the vocal heavier pretty much. So now that it's a little bit more solid inside of the beat. All right, then after that, we use the de and we already know what a de does. You know, it's just kind of like, uh, it just is taming the harshness a little bit. So it's only doing about three to six dB. After that, I used uh, another a multiband compressor right here. I used the C6 specifically, and this is a really dope preset where, uh, you know, I'm kind of bringing down the harshness when it, it starts to become too much. You feel me? When it's like, uh, you know, too much water starting to fill up the bucket and then it empties out the harshness, right? And uh, the same thing for the low mid right here too. It's now or never. I don't wanna do this later. I'm saying a song I don't want. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, shots, yeah. Yeah. The most, most. Oh. The time is now, let's have some fun. Oh. The time is now, you've been lost by the foundry. So, most importantly, using kind of like these multi band compressors allows for, you know, the vocal to still be full range, it's still plump, but only selectively. Like when the top end, you know, becomes a little bit too overbearing, a little bit too harsh, then it pulls it back a little bit. So, that was very important, especially with the high end, because I kind of really like how, like, Tyler's vocal is naturally fluttering. It naturally has wings. It is naturally really in the air, kind of just like moving around. So, it's kind of like, how do we control that and make it not overbearing? So after that, I used the Abbey Road RS-124, and this is a tube compressor. So specifically, I used it because it gave, the tubes gives it a little bit of body in it. So I'm already understanding the parts inside of the compressor. So it's giving some body to the vocal, you feel me? It's giving a little bit of belly button to the vocal, you feel me? That stomach, you feel me, to the vocal, right? So um, most importantly is just, you know, it's just really helping the vocal just be solid and be held there. And I like how the tubes naturally round off the top end, kind of like deharshing the vocal. It's now or never. I don't wanna do this later. I'm a sign of some god. Don't want the pressure. Just bring the chaser. Mm. One, two, three, short shots. Hey. I gotta slow wine it and I'm most most. Oh. The time is now. Let's have some fun. Oh. The time is now. You've been lost, but. Yeah, so on purpose, this compressor is is making it louder because I'm using this for dirty gain, right? So like on your actual like, you know, program that you probably record with, if you push like this regular little knob right here, it's going to make it louder, but in a clean way versus where if you use like, a, you know, a plugin on purpose and you knowing that, okay, it has like a certain component to it. It has the tubes, it has the transformers or whatever. It has, it has some type of lemon pepper, honey garlic seasoning behind that bit. You feel me? It's going to make it louder, but also add a little bit of color. So that's why I use the RS-124 on purpose. You feel me? And this is a really dope compressor. So uh, also it has a slow attack. So it's not squeezing, you feel me? The vocal too much. It's not hugging the vocal a little bit too much. Um, and that's letting a lot of the transients come through, you feel me? So a lot of the, a lot of the impacts of the vocal is still coming through. All right. So after that, we have the SSL E channel strip. I like the SSL E channel strip because it's very clean and I'm using the, uh, you know, a little bit of that compression, that VCA compression. It adds a little bit of that bite. You feel me? It adds a little bit of that, that dentist appointment, a little bit of that floss, a little bit of those fangs to the top end of the vocal, you feel me? But not the super top end with the air, but more like the high mid specifically. And uh, yeah, that's bringing more presence to the vocal. It's now or never. I don't want to do this later. I'm a sign of song God. Don't want the pressure. Just bring the chaser. Mm -hmm. One, two, three short shots. Hey. I got a slow wine. It's time to most, most. Oh. The time is now, let's have some fun The time is now, you've been lost by the found you There's nothing to hide I can prove The time is now, you've been lost by the found you There's nothing So as you can pay attention, I'm not really rolling that much lower and off on the whole vocal chain in general because of course it's a female vocal and it's a Tyler type of vocal. So you got to understand the style of vocal. You feel me? Before you go about trying to, um, you know, pick what car you want for a, a race, like a drag race, right? Or something like that. Like two cars at a, a, a drag race trying to go fast. You got to know what style of car do you want? Do you want the Benz? Do you want the Beamer? Maybe one drives a different way from the other. So before I started the vocal chain, I already know I got to add body. I got to preserve the low end because all the top end, all the sparkly flashing light is already baked into the vocal naturally. You feel me? So you don't got to add more 
uh, seasoning to some chicken that's already been pre-seasoned. So that's kind of how I see music in general. I listen to what's there, and then from there, we go about making the moves. So after that, we use the NLS bus, you feel me? So I use the mic, uh, the mic emulation preset because it, it just adds a little bit of low mid and also adds a little bit of that 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 crumply toasted bread in the morning, crumply French toast type of type of crispy, 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 uh, uh, you know, uh, fried chicken type of texture to the vocal. So that's what I'm looking for at this point. I'm looking for more warmth, more low mid density, right? It's now or never. I don't wanna do this later, my sign a song, I don't want the pressure, just bring the chaser. One, two, three, short shots. I gotta slow wine it and a moss moss. The time is now, let's have some fun. The time is now, you've been lost but I found you. There's nothing to hide again. So it's like a situation where, uh, you know, I'm, I'm using this like an additive EQ. So a lot of these moves are kind of like additive moves to the vocal, like the, the Kramer tape is smoothing out the top end, but it's also doing a little bit of the tape bump. You feel me? The Shep 73, it got the transformer in it, which is adding some more body um, in the low end. So it's kind of like doing invisible EQ moves, as crazy as it sounds, because I know the car already got a certain type of engine. I already know how to drive it because I already know these plugins have a certain type of parts inside them. I already know what they're going to do just based off of me just pulling them up. That's it. So that's why it's good to know that type of stuff. So after that, we have the uh, DSer doing like one or three dB. It's now or never. I don't want to do this later. I'm a sign a song. I don't want the pressure. Just bring the chaser. One, two, three, short shots. I got a slow wine it and a moss moss. The time is now. Let's have some fun. The time is now. You've been like, keep me waiting. Don't keep me waiting. I'm levitating. Blame it on me. All right, and after that, we have the silk vocal kind of serving as like, uh, you know, the last bodyguard, you feel me? The uh, the last lifeguard, you feel me? The last measure of protection for the vocal, any harsh words or any plosives or anything like that, or any type of, you know, like little frequencies we didn't pick up in the rest of the vocal chain. The silk vocal is just being that made and just dusting off everything at that point. Don't keep me waiting, I'm levitating. Blame it on me, I will take it. All right, so now let's look at the effects for the Tyler vocal preset. Um, I used a, a slap delay, a, a slap delay, you feel me? And then after that, I had a little chorus. So the chorus is just kind of like modulating the, uh, um, it's modulating the delay. So it's making the delay a little bit of wobbly, wiggly, wobbly, like a little, you know, like when you see them Egyptian type of movies and you see them with the flu woo -woo, and they, they pulling out the snake and the snake is wobbling and all, that, all that type of stuff. That's what I'm trying to do to the vocal at a very low volume using the delay in the modulator. And then after that, we got the Shep 73. And I always noticed that with Tyler's vocals, she the reverb specifically, it kind of has like this, um, it's kind of like if you have like a, your hair and your hair is like frizzy a little bit type of situation. Like it reminds me of a bottle of uh, head and shoulders, you feel me? Type of shampoo, you feel me? Cause it has just like this nice, nice little frizziness that's breaking up. I call it a uh, hairy reverb. So we got a Shep 73 and we blowing up the mic pre and then it's going into uh, this reverb right here, which is a hall reverb. And uh, I think I, I think I put a little bit more distortion. Now I put a little bit of phaser, just like a dollop of phaser. Um, and that's just in general, that's just making the vocal feel like really wobbly. And then the sidechain compressor. So every time the vocal come in, the reverb big, but it keep ducking down. Don't keep me waiting, I'm levitating. Don't keep me waiting, I'm levitating. Blame it on me, I will take it. Don't keep me waiting, I'm levitating. Blame it on So yeah, it's just adding a little bit of that um extra sparkle to the vocal. And in general, I just kind of like how, you know, with this preset, we're not going for that super, super, we're not trying to add more brightness. If this is already, 
Like, for example, I hate when I go to the store and I see, like, a fruit smoothie, right, that already got, like, strawberries and bananas, and they, they said they added more sugar onto it. Because it's like, if the fruits are already sweet, you don't have to add more sugar to it. So the same thing goes with a vocal. If you have a vocal that's already type of bright and feathery and stuff like that, you don't got to keep adding more boosting EQ and all that stuff to it because you already got the natural sweetness. So then after that, I'm using the Abbey Row RS-124, boom, vocal presence preset. And I just like that because it really puts that flag pull right into the ground that foundation that concrete um into the vocals so that's what we're using don't keep me waiting i'm levitating blame it on me i will take it don't keep me waiting i'm levitating blame it on me i will take it and the last thing that we have right here is just the regular stock preset doubler two nothing crazy everybody in their mama know what a doubler two do it just adds a little dimension to the vocal so um last thing that we have right here is the ad libs for the uh tyler preset and real quick you know we use the kramer tape again and uh yeah you know most importantly was uh we pushed a little bit of this flux right here which adds a little bit of like the tape distortion like all the little the little grain and all the little texture um to the ad libs and we use the chef 73 again I just mostly used it uh, to push the high mid transient so the ad libs will cut through a little bit more. You feel me? They're ad libs that we don't want to be hidden, but we really want to, you know, have them actually be present in the mix. And then we used a little bit of limiter to control the transient. One, two, three, short shots. I got a slow wind in the most, most. The time is now, let's have some fun. So at that point, we just used another EQ again, kind of like when you're rolling off the low end, that kind of determines the positioning of the ad lib. So when I'm listening to this, like I'm doing my second filter, I'm listening to like, okay, how far back do I want to push the ad libs? Because the less body you hear in the vocal, your brain associates that with distance. You know, so the less you know body you hear in the vocal, that kind of tells you the distance, right? So I'm trying to push them ad libs back. And then last thing, we have another Arvox doing a little compression. Uh, a Manny EQ just doing a little bit more reverb and then an eighth note delay again. All right, so that's pretty much the end of the video that we have here today. I looked on YouTube, there was no other Tyler preset. So this is the first Tyler preset today. And damn, you know, whenever I see, like I'm the first one to do a preset, I just feel bad for everybody because I don't think ain't nobody else gonna explain it like this, you feel me? So, you know, we went over everything today with the vocal chain. If y'all do wanna get the uh, preset, check it in the link down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out, y'all YouTube. Peace.